the one big thing that's in it for the audience, what the one thing that's gonna get them excited, what the speaker is gonna speak about, and then three points from their bio that support or give them credibility to talk about that one big thing. That is the one plus three formula. If you see anybody using it, I invented it. Hey everyone, what's up, Devon here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to introduce a speaker like a pro. Uh, so you've been invited to host or MC some kind of conference or seminar or event or something like that, right? And one of your duties as the host or the MC is to introduce the speakers, right? Well, what I'm here to tell you is that the way most people do speaker introductions is dead wrong, it's horrible, right? But it's still what 95% of the industry does. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna share with you the formula that I created and that I use when I introduce speakers to the stage as a host or an MC. Now, real quick, if you're wondering who the heck I am to even be sharing this information with you, Hi, my name is Devon Brown, and in many circles, I am considered to be the world's number one event MC. I get hired by some of the biggest names in business and marketing and personal development and entrepreneurship. I get hired to host uh, their events and conferences and seminars, and some of these companies spend in excess of a million dollars putting on their events. And so when they hire an MC, they want somebody who's really good and doesn't just do stuff like normal people, and that's why I get the call. Now, I don't tell you that stuff to brag. I tell you that stuff to say that everything I'm gonna share with you in this video and in all of my videos is stuff that I've actually created myself. It's stuff that I actually do every time I'm on stage, and it's what separates me from 95% of the event MCs out there. So, uh, whether you've just been invited to host an event this weekend and, and you just want a you know, really easy solution for introducing people well, or you're looking to be a professional event MC and fly around the world and host events, either way, this formula that I have for speaker introductions is going to be an absolute game changer for you. And real quick, write this down, it's called the one plus three formula, right? My formula for introducing speakers is called the one plus three formula. And here's what those numbers mean. It's the one big idea, the one big thing that the audience is going to get from listening to the speaker, and then three points um, from the speaker's bio that make them qualify to talk about the one big idea or the one big thing. Let me say that again. The one plus three formula for introducing speakers goes like this. It's what's the one big thing that the audience is going to get from listening to the speaker, right? And then what are three uh, bullet points or points about from the speaker's bio that make them qualified to talk about this one big thing, right? That's the essence of it. And so let us let me give you a little background and then I'll dive in and I'll actually give you some examples of how this works and, and we'll talk about it and we'll unpack the whole thing. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that 90, 95% of speaker bios are horrible, right? Normally as the MC or host, your job is to go on stage and you're like, I'm just gonna read this speaker bio. Bob Smith has 27 MBAs and he has this and he has that and he has this other thing and Bob Smith is really great. Welcome to the stage, Bob Smith. That is horrible. Yet, that's what 95% of the industry does. But let me talk about why it's horrible. The reason it's horrible is because this bio is focused on the speaker and bios should not be focused, or introductions I should say, should not be focused on the speaker, they should be focused on the audience. Introductions for the, are, excuse me, introductions are for the audience, they're not to stroke a speaker's ego, right? And I know that's controversial, right? <laughs> so uh, let me explain how I came up with this formula and why I came up with this formula and then and, and I'll, give you examples of it and show it to you in action, right? So um, several years ago back, like I think it was around 2019 maybe, I was hosting an event for dentists out in California. Now to be clear, I know nothing about dentistry. I am not a dental expert, right? So what happened was the night before the event, the event promoters, the event 
you know, people putting on the event, they sent me all of the speaker bios. They said, hey, Devon, here are all of the speaker bios. And I started opening up these speaker bios and I'm like, holy crap, these things are long and they're horrible. And it's like every speaker bio was 500 words and it was all about the speaker, speaker's ego. And it also had in it a bunch of dental words that I had no clue how to enunciate, right? I had no clue how to pronounce these dental words because I'm not in that medical industry. And so um, I was like, it's gonna take me half an hour to read all this nonsense and this is not going to excite the audience. And let's put a pause on that right there because I need you to understand something about your intro, okay? The job of your introduction is to get the audience excited about what the speaker is going to say, right? Your job of the introduction is to get the audience saying, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to hear from such and such. And you don't do that by just listing a bunch of so-and-so, the speaker's accolades. That's not what gets people excited. What gets people excited is them knowing what's in it for them. And the fact that Bob Smith graduated from Harvard is not what's in it for the audience. I hope that makes sense. And so, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading through these speaker bios and I'm like, this is not gonna work. There's no way I'm gonna get up here and do that. That's a no for me. And so um, the, the, the next day I go to the first speaker and I start speaking to her. I'm like, hi, Mary. Hi, I'm Devon, I'm the MC. I'm gonna be introducing you. Hey, a couple of quick questions. First question, what are you gonna be talking about today? Because there's no way I was reading her bio, but I didn't say that your bio sucks. I was like, hey, wow, you have done a lot. Uh, Mary, I wanna make sure that I frame this in the right way to get the audience really excited to hear from you. Uh, first question, what are you gonna be speaking about today? And then she's like, well, Devon, I'm gonna be speaking about, you know, such and such, you know, molar mandibular surgeries. And I'm like, okay. I was like, well, well, why is that important? Why does the audience care? And she's like, well, because by adding this particular surgery to my dental practice, I was able to, you know, double my dental practice's revenue. And I was like, oh, okay. Are you gonna tell them how you did that? And she's like, yeah, I sure am. And I was like, well, great. Now stop right there. That's what's in it for the audience. Make sense? Not the fact that Mary went to Harvard or wherever she went. That's what's in it for the audience. So that's my one big thing. Then I said, well, great. Well, out of all the stuff that you've done here on your bio, what are maybe three things that make you the most qualified to talk about this topic? And she said, well, actually, I was the first dentist in California to do this. I've been doing it for 27 years and I actually wrote the book on it. Something like that, right? And I was like, okay, Mary, that's super helpful. And that now becomes the framework for me going out and giving an introduction. So now, instead of Mary's introduction being something like, Mary Smith went to Harvard, she has this degree, this degree, she was named by such and such as the such and such, and she did this, and she did that, and she was featured on this, and she has this many YouTube followers, and this many that. Now, instead, the intro sounds something like this. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, or I should say doctors, right, because these are a room full of dentists. So, how many of you would like to know how you can add one simple procedure to your practice and double your practice's revenue. That's the one big thing. How many of you would like to know how to add one practice or one, one procedure, excuse me, to your practice and in doing so potentially double your practice's revenue? Show of hands. Excellent. Well, guess what? You all know I'm not a dentist, so I don't know how to share that information with you, but the good thing for you is that I know the woman who does. Her name is Mary Smith and she actually was the first speak or the first dentist to do this in all of California. She's been doing it for 27 years and she's used this exact procedure to achieve X, Y, and Z. And today she's gonna share with you how she did it and how you can do it in your practice. Make sense? It's audience, fo audience focused. I still got a chance to, to give Mary her props, right? but it wasn't just listing a bunch of crazy accolades. I shared with the audience what's in it for them. Let me give you another example. By the way, if you like this video, if you're liking, if you're liking this content, give it a like, give it a share. Um, let me know in the comment section. And by the way, check out the description because I have more trainings like this on MCing and hosting and public speaking that go into a lot more depth. But uh, let me give you another example real quick. So I was hosting a, uh, a seminar one time uh, for, um, somebody who was a social, or the person I was about to bring to the stage is a, was a social media expert, right? 
And so as opposed to saying, uh, John Taylor is a social media expert with 7 million followers, right? And he has two kids and he has, you know, a wife and he has this, that, and the other, right? And he has three dogs and he loves donating to charity. Like all that stuff is great. And I'm not saying that there's no room for that, but the audience doesn't care about that stuff, right? The audience wants to know what's in it for them. So I go to John and I say, hey, John, what are you gonna be speaking about today, right? And John's gonna say, well, Devon, as you know, and John says something to me like, well, Devon, as you know, I've got you know a million followers on Instagram, but here's the thing. Half of those followers came from just one strategy, and I'm gonna talk about that strategy, and I'm like, awesome. That's what's in it for the audience, right? And so I say, great, John, have you used this strategy for other people? And he's like, yeah, I've used this strategy for other people, and the worst it's ever done is adding 10,000 people in a month to somebody's Instagram account. And I'm like, excellent, John, is there anything you want the audience to know about you? Well, I want them to know such and such and such and such that you know make you qualified to talk about or share this strategy. And so, now when I go on stage, my introduction is not what most people do, what 95% of the industry does, where they're just like, John Smith, blah, 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 born, yada, 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 78, blah, 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 right? Da, 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 ego, ego, stroke, ego, stroke, ego, ego, stroke, not telling the audience what's in it for them. Instead, it's like, hey, ladies and gentlemen, let me ask you a question. You all, ever raise your hand if you have an Instagram account, all right? All right, question. Show of hands, how many of you would like to know a strategy that can at worst add 10,000 people to your Instagram account within 30 days? Show of hands, at worst, worst case scenario, best case scenario could add way more, right? Okay, would it be okay if I bring somebody to the stage that's gonna show you how to do that, all right? Yes, it would. Yeah, Devon, it would. Excellent, let me give you a little background on this guy. You see, he did X, Y, and Z that has to do with this one big thing, and he did such and such and such and such, and he was even named um, by Success Magazine as one of the top social media influencers of the year, right? Welcome to the stage, John Smith. Some, whatever the guy's name is I just made up, right? So th does, that, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, I, I really do. Again, only rookies just say, here's a bunch of accolades. Instead, use what I call the one plus three formula. This is the exact formula I made up at that dental conference years ago. It's the same one I use all the time. The one big thing that's in it for the audience, right? What the one thing that's gonna get them excited or what the speaker is gonna speak about, and then three points from their bio that support or give them credibility to talk about that one big thing. That is the one plus three formula. If you see anybody using it, I invented it. Um, but I hope that was helpful. Please let me know in the comments, like, share, let me know in the comments and all of that good stuff. And if you want more help or advice on speaking or hosting or emceeing, check the links in the description. I've got a lot more stuff for you. So I hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hey, Devon here. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and connect with me on social media. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to share it with your friends.